When the Kansas City Chiefs show up to Missouri Western at the end of July for training camp, it could be their last year in St. Joseph. Our Quinn Ritzdorf has more. For 12 years, St. Joseph has been the home of Chiefs training camp, but their contract with Missouri Western ends this summer. You never realize what the impact of an event of the magnitude the Chiefs training camp is until potentially it's gone. Camp brings people in from all over the Midwest, and Muni Inn is one of the beneficiaries of that. The bar sees a 30% increase in sales during those three weeks. I think it would be you know, detrimental to just not the tourism side, but to all the business that, you know, gets affected by them. The community rolls out the red carpet for the Chiefs each year, and it's why they're working to keep the camp right here at Missouri Western. Both the university and the community sure. have said whatever we need to do to help the Chiefs stay in St. Joe, we're committed to doing, and they've stepped up and done that. The county has provided resources, the city has provided resources, the university has provided resources. Andy Reid and the Chiefs have had success when training camp is at Missouri Western, including winning the Super Bowl in 2020. I feel like as long as Andy Reid's the head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, um, there's an excellent chance the training camp will be held here in St. Joe, just given Coach Reed knows what the landscape is. He knows what he's going to be doing. He knows what, can ex what he can expect. Training camp is a spectacle that places a spotlight on St. Joseph, but its impact might not be realized until it's no longer here. Quinn Ritzdorf, News Press Now.